Where are the best places to live in South Austin? That's what we're gonna talk about today. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, we would absolutely be so honored if you hit the little like button, hit subscribe, and even hit the little bell uh, so that you get notified when we release, release a fun new video every single week. I'm John, and this is Elise, and we're the Heart of Austin Homes team, powered by Keller Williams, and we have helped people buy and sell homes in just about every neighborhood in South Austin. Because we love it. It's awesome here. All right, we're gonna break this down into seven of the key zip codes that define South Austin. We're gonna yeah. tell you the names of the neighborhoods within each of the zip codes, the local flavor of that zip code, and then why people choose to live in that particular area. Okay, let's kick it off with 78704. This is like one of the quintessential neighborhoods in hip Austin. Hip. Why people come here, like they film movies in 78704. This is like the place that everyone wants to be. Now this includes neighborhoods like Bowling Creek, Zilker, Barton Hills, Travis Heights, South, South Lamar, Lamar, St. Edwards. And let's not forget St. Edwards where the university is. Now the flavor is quintessential South Austin. It's like got all of your cool retail. It's got all of your cool boutique shops. It's got lots of restaurants. New restaurants they're opening all the time and really fun food trucks. All of the stuff that's fun to do on South Congress, the bats on South Congress <sighs> Avenue itself where you get to go see the bats fly around. All of the Austin icons Tons are on South Congress. Tons of gorgeous old oak trees. It's got crazy good walkability to fun outing places as mm -hmm. well as easy, easy commute to downtown if you work downtown. If you can afford it, it's really the place where a lot of people want to be. I mean, I would love to live in 04. Yeah, you got a couple slugs down there too. Really hard to fit a whole family on a budget in 04. But it's got Zilker Park, you know, all the festivals mm. are there. Like you're gonna be in the thick of mm -hmm. South by Southwest if you're living in 78704. When you talk about walkability, you're walking to South Congress or yeah. South First. Yep. Next up, we got 78745. This is just south of the 78704. And we love this one. We live there actually for a huge bulk of the time that we've been in Austin in all 13 years. We've got neighborhoods like Sunset Valley, we got Westgate, we got Garrison Park, Cherry Creek, Grand Oaks. It's where you go when you can't afford 04. <laughs> you want to be in 04, but you know, maybe you have a family or, you know, you don't want to drop the change on it. That's well, what thinker can. Yeah, it's a little bit quieter. Now, it still has restaurants and coffee shops and places to go, but it's Lots not, of beautiful oak trees still. Yeah, but it's not like the same super dense hip spot that 04 is. You've got like the Sunset Valley strip mall there. It's not really a strip mall. It's kind of a commercial center. Well, you do have, and you have that close access to, to big box. Um, mm -hmm. shopping uh, and then you do also have some small cafes boutiques um, that sort of thing it's just not as dense there are a couple little boutiques around say um, Westgate and yep. uh, and Central Market there so I mean you do actually still have a lot of benefit a little bit quieter and a little bit less walkable for sure yeah it's more suburban and it's also kind of up and coming in the sense that the northern end of 78745 is turning into 04 78704 because a yeah. lot of stuff is bleeding south and you're seeing a bunch of new construction, a bunch of new moderns. I've got a couple builds going on up there. You know what um, Northern 4-5 and actually all of 4-5 is great for is renovated older homes yep. that have, still have that Austin flavor, you know, the 70s stonework, things like that, but insides have been retrofitted to um, to have modern finish outs and modern feel and such. So you can get a lot of that mid-century modern classy sort of feel uh, in 7-8-7-4-5. Yeah, so you still have a relatively short commute. It's not quite as dense but it's a little bit more suburban. So you, it's kind of like 78704 light. Light. Okay, next up we've got 78748, which is just a little bit further south than 78745. It's got great neighborhoods like Castlewood Forest. Bowerly Ranch. Tanglewood Forest. Lots of forests. There's Sensing of, a forest There's a here. forest and estate sort you know, of thing. And there are more trees too. More trees. I You've got trees. South Park Meadows. Shady Hollow, Bridges of Bear Creek. Buckingham I mean, Estate. There's a whole variety of great neighborhoods. Ones that people go way out of their way to be in. Mm -hmm. Shady Hollow, Bowerly, etc. You know, the flavor there is definitely sticking with the older homes, mm -hmm. but you do get into more newer homes. Uh, there have been more kind of infill and um, and small developments that have been put in. Um, you along have a couple built in the 2000s even. Or even the 2000 teens. Is that 2000 a, how, do you, how do you say that? 
right? Like, it's just an awkward decade. It is. It's super, you don't even know how to say it. And so you have more families that live down there. It's not quite as, you know, dense young people as, as the more northern zip codes. Lots of stonework. You're more likely to be able to get a decent amount of land. There are pockets of quarter acre lots and things like that. So Even half and full acres in Shady you're Hollow. You're not going to get like the five and six thousand square foot lots only like you do in the more northern yeah, zip codes. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like you're like, please, I'm praying and begging for 0.1 acres. Right. <laughs> and you're still flanked by Mopac and 35, so you still actually have quick access, quick access. to the well, highways. If one could call 35 quick. Mopac Well, you can get to the freedom. highway, and once you get there, you're kind of stuck. Quick access but to gonna, the highway. You're going to get to the highway real fast. <laughs> And so in general, you're going to have bigger homes, right? Bigger you're parks. Have bigger homes, right? For, for less trees. money, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, you can get a 3,500 square foot house there for probably in the fours, but like there's no way you would get a house that large in 04 for the You price, can get, right? um, you know, cheaper. You can get sub $300,000 stuff mm -hmm. um, that is North Buda and Cairo and yep. uh, Manchaca and everything. People still love living in Fort 8. I mean, I, it's a pretty, it's yeah. a pretty sweet little and you, There's, little there's a couple of little, you know, I don't want to say boutique places, but little restaurants that have been there for like 30 years, right? Mm -hmm. Like a little mom and pop. They used to be forever. way out in the country. Right, right. It used <laughs> to be like that. Crawfish shack on the side of the road is now like been there for 30 years. Yeah, it's now built up around, yeah. Yeah, like there's an HEB out there. Also, there are a lot of really big parks in Fort, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Tons of great big parks if you want to go biking or just hang out. I mean, Austin is great for Play parks outside. no matter yeah. where you're mm -hmm. at. It's just a matter of how quick access and how big and kind of all consuming they yeah, are. Yeah, Zilker's not the only one. Yeah. And it's not Budica. 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 Now let's look at the west column. We went down the central column, 78704, 78745, 78748, and now we're gonna go down, I guess this would be the west column for you. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so 78749 and 78739. Let's look at 78749, which is the northern one of the two okay. first. They've got a lot of classy neighborhoods mm -hmm. for South Austin, um, Southern Oak Hill, we've got Legend Oak, Circle C North, Village at Western Oaks, Maple Run, and Sendera. This is yeah. actually where we live now. Um, we live across the street from Sendera. We do, we do. One of the reasons people live mm -hmm. there is the schools are great. I mean, I would say the flavor is definitely more suburban. Yep. Um, slightly newer homes are likely to be 90s instead of 70s sort of thing. Yeah, and there's a lot um, of Circle C that's built in the 2000s too. Yeah, Circle C North, definitely. Maybe. Circle C North is is um, is a little bit older. Yep. Once we get into 3.9, we'll talk about Circle C South, which yeah. there are some um, relatively new things Lots that, new are, stuff. Yep. that are huge and lovely mm -hmm. um and so 90s 2000 homes um filled with lots of families and great schools you want to mention the great schools you did and there's also really good shopping there too like you don't have to go really anywhere else there are plenty of commercial spaces there's yeah. HEBs. there's a costco there's an alamo if you're within 15 minutes of an alamo you can really kind of <laughs> Oh, Alamo, I love you. And lastly, the Violet Crown Trail is super amazing. That's gonna start up in Zilker, it's in 78704, um, and it actually threads down um, through 49 and 39, uh, and so super fun trail. Yeah, you can uh, hop on your bike and go to Zilker Park off a road the entire way. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's take a quick second to ask, what kind of neighborhood do you like? Do you like more of a family neighborhood? Do you like walkability? Like what's what's important to you? Throw your comments down below uh, and we can tell you what part of South Austin is probably the most appropriate for you. So let's do the other half of the west side of South Austin, which is 78739. This has got three primary neighborhoods. You've got Meridian, Circle C, and Shady Hollow. The rest of Shady Hollow. The other half of Shady Hollow. Yeah, well, it's most of Shady Hollow. Uh, All the street names are named after Lord of the Rings characters. Oh, it's super right. cute Hobbit stuff, and you're like, bag and scope. And there's even a castle down there. There's the Black Mesa house, which has been on the market for like two years. I know, still exactly. If you have 1.3 million and you mm -hmm. want to live in a castle, let us know. There is one in Shady Hollow. <laughs> yeah. I would say that this is definitely, uh, you know, still super suburban. The schools mm -hmm. are great. Mm -hmm. um, these homes tend to be newer. They tend to be bigger. Mm -hmm. They tend to have a little bit more land, but that's definitely not, that's, you know, not all of them. Yeah, a little bit is in like a quarter acre, although we have seen a couple of acre size lots over there. And Shady Hollow has tons of half yep. and full acres. Yep. Um, a lot of people will move to Shady Hollow specifically because they're looking for something with yeah, a, a full bit acre. Space, yeah. and although Shady Hollow does have no less than seven separate HOAs as of this filming. It probably has more. By the time uh, they're breeding. There's more HOAs. <laughs> One thing to note about that is that those homes in Shady Hollow that do have that acre, they tend to be older. Um, and so, you know, you either want to renovate them yourselves or you want one that's renovated or you just really like old school style homes. Yeah. One now, or another. one of the minor downsides is it is at the tail end of Brody, which creates a bit of a traffic bottleneck. 
So as long as you're hitting the highway, you're okay. Yeah. But if you've got to come up through Brody, that does create a bit of a pinch. Well, and now you can um, go down south and hit the hit the highway coming out the the bottom. So that's, that's true. Super 45 handy. is now done, so you hey, can hey, hey. hop on that guy. And yeah. Jet on over. So depending on where your work is, that can be super handy. So it's a great neighborhood, bigger homes, really great spot to live. A lot of people love there. Violet Crown is starting to come down through there. They plan on having it go down to Lady um, Bird Johnson Wildflower yeah. Center um, and then beyond. It's going to be cool. And oh, we almost forgot to mention the velodrome. So if you are into cycling, it's not technically a velodrome, but it's like this dedicated bike trail uh, where you can, it's like a three or four mile trail. You can get on your bike and there's just nothing interfering with you. You can just ride around it all day and it's just purely for biking. Yeah. The UC people get away with roller skates too sometimes. Also... Alamo. Alamo. Did we, Did we mention Alamo? Alamo? <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we're going to go down the east side of South Austin. So this is stuff that is south of 2971 and east of 35. Of 35. Yeah. Exactly. So let's kick it with 78744. That's just south of 29071. Mm -hmm. That has stuff like Franklin Park, McKinney Falls, Meadow Lake, Onion Creek. And the flavor of this one is really up and coming. It wasn't too long ago that, it was, that you see it's still got its moments, but... Um, you can get a super affordable house here, uh, and uh, and it's it's definitely on its way up. Yeah, it used to be a much more raw land, so you do have some homes where you look one way as the city, but the other way it's just kind of open, empty field. <laughs> but that is filling in, and you've also got Onion Creek and McKinney Falls out there, which is cool because there's a lot of really great parks. And McKinney Falls is a huge park. Beautiful park. You can go fishing out there. They've got really great bike trails out there. There's actually and, a fair amount of commercial in that yep. area as well, mm -hmm. and it's perfect for first-time home buyers, honestly. Yeah, and it's got also really good bike trails all throughout um, those parks as well. And your starter home out there is, you know, in the sub 300. Right? Yeah, definitely. So it's still really close. It's, you know, east of 35, which has got a little bit of a stigma on it. But, you know, I think that the homes over there are great and um, they will certainly appreciate really well in the long run too. Onion Creek had a bit of a stigma for a while because there were some serious flooding issues. Mm -hmm. um, and so what you want to do is, I mean, there are plenty of homes that did not flood that, yeah. that don't have that issue. Is you just want to look into its history. You want to look into whether or not it's in the FEMA flood zone, et cetera, and just be careful about it. Um, there are plenty of good homes and good deals to be had there. Last but not least for 78744 uh, is that you're really close to I-35 for shooting north. Mm -hmm. You're actually not far at all from 30, um, 130 um, to shoot north um, around the east side of town as yeah. well. If you want to go to Pflugerville. Exactly. And you're right near the airport, so mm -hmm. that can be handy as well. And last but not least is 78747. So this is also on the east side of 35, but it's just south of 78744. 7, 7, 4, 4. 4. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's somewhat similar. It's the other half of Onion Creek. Right? There's also Parkside at Slaughter, uh, and then Bradshaw Crossing is another neighborhood over there. And this is a code is actually not built out that much at all. There are a couple of neighborhoods over there, but there's also a lot of empty space. A lot of empty space. So there's going to be a lot of building over there yeah. in the coming years. And you can still get a very reasonably priced house, a little over 200K yep. up to, I mean, usually high end is 350 in that area, mm -hmm. but something close to 200K, which is fantastic. And there's still lots of big lots over there as well. Yeah, definitely. So if you want a little more space it's, that's, and still be decently close to town, yeah, yeah it's there for the taking. Yeah. Close to I-35, you know, if, if one of you lives and, or sorry, works in Austin and one of you um, works in Lockhart or mm -hmm. something like that, great location for that. Uh, and, and you're so, right, also right on the border of the ETJ, so if you want to stay away from the city of Austin and do something on your own where you put out your own workshop or your own commercial space or you just don't want to deal with city of Austin permitting, it can be a great space to get some land for doing your own commercial stuff. Definitely. We also teach a class on the smart way to buy a home. You can find it linked below and make sure you check it out to avoid the most common mistakes when buying a home. Thank you guys so much for watching. We would be honored if you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell so that you can hear about fun new videos every week. You might also want to check out our top 10 reasons to live in Austin and what it costs to live in Austin. Thank you guys so much. Bye. See you next time. Who let the Oh, okay, I can't believe we just did that. <laughs>